Cafe Balakia is popular with Aussies and Kiwis. I'm about to go in there and meet with the Canadian skiing icon, Nancy Green. Look at that, so Nancy, you're famous, right, in Canada? Everyone knows you. I'm sort of like Don Fraser is in Australia. That's what I said to him. <laughs> She's been here, you know. She came skiing here. I taught her how to ski. It was the most amazing thing. It was before she had her most recent knee surgery. And uh, so she was a little bit nervous and we got her right up to the top of one of the lifts and she's skiing along and says, I can't believe I'm doing this. It was great. Yeah. So tell us a bit about Sunfix, about skiing in Sunfix. Well, it's, you know, it's great. We have really, really nice snow, generally good weather. Um, you know, I've spent time in other resorts and this is by far the easiest one to get around. You can just connect from one place to another really easily. And the runs flow well. If you're a snowboarder, you get off the top, it's a go down mountain. You're not always pumping along and it's just, uh, yeah, it fits. Every lift's got black, blue, and green runs, so families can ski together, go different directions, meet at the bottom. Parents soon realize that even if their kids are going in and out of the trees, they all the runs come back out again, they don't get lost. Works well. Yeah. We came here in uh, December 94. At that point, there was the village day lodge had just opened, and there was no... Uh, there was no village, and that winter you're skiing and there was literally nobody on the slopes. It was just empty. And then gradually, over the years, as the village got bigger and bigger, we, we were lucky because we got to a kind of a, a reasonable sized village within five or six years. Mm -hmm. And so it happened fast enough that everybody felt there was enough here to come back to time and time again. So, Anyone can come here and ski with you, that's one of the attractions. You know, it's, it's um, I have a meeting point at the top of the Sunburst chair, and uh, when I'm home at 1 o'clock, I'm there, and sometimes there's 20, 30 people, sometimes there's only 4 or 5, it all depends, and sometimes people just want to come and meet me and take pictures and do things like that, yeah. and so if I have a mixed group, say I have some new run skiers, slower skiers, and faster skiers, I'll ski along on easy runs for a run or two, and then gradually say, well, we're going to go to something steeper now. You say, okay, well, we're <laughs> had enough, thank you. Yeah. And after an hour, you're probably skiing with four or five really good skiers. Yep. And then you just take off and do lots of fun. So it doesn't cost anything? No, no, no. Just turn up and... No. And we have, we have another group uh, called the Sun Guides, and they meet at the bottom of the lift at 9 o'clock and 1 o'clock every day. And anybody that wants to go with someone who knows their way around can go on the green runs, the blue or the black, and they're great. And it's a great service. They just, uh, yeah. it, it makes a contact between the people who live here because they do it as volunteers, yeah. and the guests, and the sun guys, they absolutely love it. They just, it makes their winter. They look forward to the day. It's great for beginners. It's great. Yesterday after skiing, I was sitting in a unit at our hotel um, watching and the kids go by on the gentle giant run right outside the window. And, you know, you look at it and it's just, it's just amazing. You see the kids the first time down, they're snow flying, the parents are holding on. An hour later, they're skiing on their own. Children and for adults, you generally have to take a lesson. It really does make a difference to take a lesson. Yeah. But you can pick it up on the Gentle Giant. You move from there to the Homesteader Run yes. and Homesteader Five Mile. A few times down that, you're ready to to look for other green runs. And it right. doesn't take long. It doesn't take long. And every lift has green runs. Yes. Even from the very top of the mountain, yes. a novice skier can come down a green. And so you've got the whole terrain. Some people stay on green runs forever. Yeah. They're they're happy, they're comfortable, they're in control, they're enjoying the scenery, they're looking around, they're out there doing stuff. You don't have to go to the runs. The difference is when you start to look to go to steeper runs, you have to learn how to ski parallel. Yes. Because slowing down by doing a snow plow on a steeper run is too tiring. So then you learn to ski parallel and you swish your skis and get a little skid going to control the speed. And then you just keep going on blues. One day you say to you, I'll do a black. Then you have to learn again. Black runs aren't much more difficult than blue runs if it's well groomed and good snow. But you can have a, a blue run that has bumps in it and that's more challenging than a black run that's well groomed. So you learn to you learn to pick and choose your terrain, and that's why it's good to go with the sun guides, yeah. because they can analyze your they can see how you skate.
and make sure that you don't get in over your head. And I personally believe that you learn to ski much better if you're skiing relaxed. And if you're tense because you're nervous, it doesn't help. Yes. So stay in your comfort zone, and your comfort zone will gradually increase with the mileage that you get. It's very simple. If you go and get your ski stuff on, okay. then um, I'll, I'll just wait for you there, and we'll go. We'll just go for, we'll just go on a little platter lift. And there's a, there's some nice terrain right there. I can show you a few things. And you can, then you're back on your horse again after you're We're going skiing.